अचीविंग एनीथिंग यू डिजायर इन लाइफ रिक्वायर्स कंसिस्टेंसी नमस्कार वेलकम टू पीटी पॉइंटर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मेजर हेडलाइंस ऑफ द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड प्रेस इंफॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कशन एंड आर फर्स्ट हेडलाइन इज रिलेटेड टू यक्षगान मेला विच विल स्टार्ट इन कर्नाटका फ्रॉम फोर्टीन जनवरी ऑनवर्ड्स एंड डू यू नो फ्रेंड्स Yakshagan is a traditional folk dance form popular in Karnataka and each performance typically focuses on a small sub story from ancient Hindu epics of Ramayana or Mahabharat the show consists of both stage performances by talented artist and commentary accompanied by traditional music our next headline is related to section 69a of the IT Act and it is in the news because according to a recent reply to a right to information application website blocking orders have grown over 100 fold from 2013 to 2023 and orders were issued under 69a of the information technology act 2000 now let's know more about the section 69a of the it act so friends it empowers government to block information from public access under specific conditions of interest of sovereignty and integrity of india defense of india security of the state friendly relations with foreign states public order or for preventing incitement to commission of any cognizable offences relating to above our next headline is related to momentum investing it is a style of investing wherein investor purchase assets such as stocks or bonds that are consistently rising in price while selling assets whose prices are falling our next headline is related to belgorod and it is in the news because now russia is focusing on belgorod now let's know more about belgorod region so friends it is situated in the center of european part of russia and as you can see it shares borders with ukraine and it is one of russia's successfully developing industrial and agricultural regions our next headline is related to kinmen which is 200 kilometers from taiwan and 7 kilometers from china it was battlefield frontline for the nationalist who fled to taiwan in 1949 and target of frequent bombardments up until 1979 china's bombardments of kinmen only stopped in 1979 when us switched diplomatic recognition from taiwan to beijing Our next headline is related to Einstein probe which is recently launched by China it is a new astronomical satellite to observe mysterious transient phenomena in the universe it is shaped like a lotus in full bloom and it consists of wide field x-ray telescopes and follow up x-ray telescopes it aims to capture the first light from supernova explosions search for x-ray signals accompanying gravitational wave events and discover dormant black holes and other celestial objects our next headline is related to square kilometer array project and it is in the news because recently india decided to formally join square kilometer array project which is an international scientific collaboration working to build the world's largest radio telescope it will be collection of thousands of dish antennas operating as a single unit and the name square kilometer array comes from the original intention to create one square kilometer of effective area for collecting radio waves and you know friends india has already decided to build gravitational wave detector to join international laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory india has also strong participation in the large hadron collider which is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator that is running some of the most exciting experiments in particle physics our next and last headline is related to global economic prospects report which is recently released by world bank and according to it global growth is projected to slow for the third year in row from 2.6% last year to 2.4% in 2024 and recent report kept its financial year 25 economic growth projection for india unchanged at 6.4% mainly on account of strong domestic demand rising public infrastructure spending and strong private sector credit growth and according to it india is likely to maintain the fastest growth rate among the world's largest economies but its post pandemic recovery was expected to slow so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening and for regular updates you can follow us on various social media platforms